Hello everybody, this is Ben from the Blue Monday podcast, back again with another Ipswich Town YouTube video and Sod's Law, typical, as I'm literally uploading the podcast yesterday, the news breaks on Twitter that Ipswich have had a bid accepted for around over, apparently, £1 million for Rangers centre forward Martin Waghorn. So there's nothing to do with that in today's pod because we'd already recorded it and the news had broken. Um, I'm recording this video before Mick's um, press conference at half past 12. It's about 11 um, now. So I'm going to maybe wait a little bit to put it up and if he denies it, um, which I don't think he's going to, I think from what we can see, um, it's going to happen at some point today. Um, maybe I won't put it up, well, in which case you'll never see it. But um, so Martin Waghorn is a five foot ten um, centre forward, um, kind of stocky, but not necessarily tall, but not small, and you know fairly similar. You would say to um, to Garner possibly. Um, he broke through at Sunderland under the devil Roy Keane, um, age 17 in the Premier League back in 2008. Um, he didn't really ever get into the Premier League uh, Charlton team, went uh, Sunderland team, went on loan to Charlton, um, scored one goal for them. Then um, he went on loan to Leicester in 2009-10 um, and he got 12 goals for them in the championship um, as they reached the playoffs, uh, which led them to sign him for £3 million um, ahead of the 2010-11 transfer deadline day. Um, he then only got four goals that season. Um, falls out of favour at Leicester under Sven. God, Sven managed Leicester. Um, loaned out to Hull. Again, two goals at championship level. Um, 2012-13, he gets three goals uh, this year under Pearson as Leicester reached the playoffs. Um, one of those goals was in a 6-0 win over Ipswich, you may remember. Um, Leicester, just interesting point at that point, um, had Chris Wood, David Nugent, Harry Kane, Jermaine Beckford and Jamie Vardy on their books as, as forwards. A couple of them on loan, but... You can see why he didn't get anywhere near the team. Um, in 2013-14, Leicester win the title with a front two of Nugent and Vardy. Uh, Waghorn heads to Millwall on loan where he scores three. But then he's transferred to Wigan um, and actually does well in their run for a playoff place. Um, gets five goals. Signs for them at the end of the transfer window and five goals between there and the end of the season. They lose in the playoffs to QPR. And then he kind of falls down the pecking order a bit at Wigan as they rotate managers three times that year. Um, only scores three goals that season, so a few fairly barren seasons. And at the point he goes off to Glasgow Rangers, um, his record, he's only scored in the championship at this point, is 33 goals, but in 91 starts with 76 sub-appearances. So really, for those first years of his career, never managed to string together a whole season other than that one at Leicester, whatever year that was, um, on his first good loan, 2009-10, where that Leicester playoff year. Um, so he goes to Rangers under Warburton um, in the Scottish Championship, which I'm sure you'll be thinking, OK, that's no great level. Um, scores 28 goals. Um, now, OK, yeah, the standard is the standard, um, but 28 goals is 28 goals, isn't it? So fair dues to him for that. Rangers get up to the Scottish Premier League, Premiership, I can't actually say Premiership there. Um, he scores 16 goals that season, although the caveat to that is a lot of those were in the Scottish League Cup and FA Cup. I think maybe only seven in the league. So that's where he's got to in his career. From watching the YouTube videos, he seems to have... Um, a pretty explosive left foot shot. Um, so he looks like he's a good uh, finisher. Seems to shoot early as well. Um, and scores quite a few goals from the kind of 12 to 15 yard area. With Still with defenders in the way, but shoots early and gets it hard into the corners. So um, I think that bodes well. It's interesting that Warburton, who's now at Forest, um, has chosen to take Mackay 
from Rangers and not either Garner or Wagon. I don't know whether that says anything. Maybe Mackay is just cheaper or whatever. So it's an interesting signing. It's not a big, tall um, target man, um, for those of you who thought Mick was going to get that. And it's not necessarily a big name, so to speak. Um, we had this quote from me and Mill, you're not going to need to Wikipedia this guy. Well, I've heard a few people say that they're underwhelmed. Um, how do you feel about Waghorn? Um, it's an interesting one. We can't really judge. We'll see how he does. He's certainly been scoring the past two years. And frankly, he's never really had a run in a in a first team for a long period of time. Don't know whether that says the right thing. Also, I'm interested in what um, anyone watching thinks about mixed actual transfer business and this idea of, one, going to the Scottish Premier League as a market instead of, you know, buying big from the Championship or lower divisions. What do you think of that? And also this idea of, is there more value in spending £3 million on Hughes, Garner, and Waghorn than there is on one three million pound player. Obviously there's signing on fees, there's agent fees, there's wages. Um but it seems like the business model is um to take players um if you're gonna spend the fee between twenty five and twenty nine or I think I think that's Garner's age, isn't it? Um and Players with championship experience, um, but not necessarily playing championship at that point. So I'd be interested to know whether you think there's more value in that than just say Jordan Hugel would be five million. So you'd get one Jordan Hugel for the price of your Garner, Waghorn, Hughes, Spence. So let me know what you think in the comments, whether this is good business or not. Please uh, hit subscribe. Um, hit like, don't say horrible things in the comments. Um, and follow the Blue Monday podcast on Twitter at uh, Blue Monday ITFC. Follow me at Benjamin Bloom. And we will see you tomorrow probably for some Luton Town comedy team news. Woo!